Hey, fish shows. I just purchased a reef anchor, one of those ones where you have to bend the prongs yourself. Um, save a few bucks. You think, okay, just grab hold of it and give it a pull, but I'd say that would make a mess. So what I've done is I went onto the internet, went onto YouTube, and I must have been typing in the wrong thing. I've typed in things like bending the prongs on a reef anchor, shaping a reef anchor for use. Several other things, but it came up with nothing. Nothing I could find at all. Uh, I could find written stuff about, you know, do this, do that, and do the other. So I thought I'd make one up myself. Took the chance that I'd just take it out of my head, and it turned out really good. So um, I've made a video for that, uh, and I hope you all enjoy it. Hello to you, everyone. I'm just going to show you guys how to bend the prongs on a brand new reef anchor now. You can get them smaller than this and you can get them larger. This is, suits my 4.1 meter tinny I hope. Just going to do a bit of reef fishing and uh, I have a large sand anchor in the boat. Don't want to put that down or I'll never get the boat up again. So I'll just, there's many ways I would assume you can do this. You do it by hand if you can. You could get a trolley jack handle. Mine has a pin in it so I can't use that. Couldn't get the pin out so I'm going to try it. See how we go with just a piece of, this is a piece of old curtain rod. I've got a couple of things here. You need a piece of PVC pipe. Obviously it'll have to be pretty thick. Now I'm going to go up a fair way, like halfway up the prong, and start bending now. Right, and then move it along. As you move it along, you can't go back again of course, very far, and you can just bend it to an appropriate shape. And bend it so you've got an arch happening like pretty much a that's lovely pretty much a 90 degree bend so it doesn't really matter if they're not all identical so just do your best let's try the next one so go down and start it at about the same spot and about here put your hand there now this really isn't taking much force at all these things aren't made out of anything other than mild steel and they're galvanized if you get one that's half decent and because it's made out of mild steel easy vent easy retrieve when it's stuck on an ink on a um on a reef that is absolutely lovely nice shape nice bends that's two out of the four now a lot of the anchors that are larger than this one will come with five. Five prongs. More the merrier, I say. Depends how much money you want to spend. This was really cheap, this anchor. I got this for, in Australia here, it probably not as cheap as some other places, but it was about $15, and that is really a bargain. Looking good. Once you've finished, what we'll do is we'll just go back and try and match it up a little bit. But I think once you get it stuck on the first rock, the first reef, which is where it's meant to grab hold of, once it gets stuck on there, it's going to change shape pretty quickly. So when you get it back in the boat, you need something like this in the boat. So you need to take something, a trolley jack handle that will fit over the prongs. Some people actually mount them, I think, to the boat so they can quickly put the anchor on it and just give it a bit of a pull, but I think that's only necessary to get something really big in the way of anchors. Now, I think that's good. I don't think there's any reason to ever use your hand. If you want to pull it more from the base down here, I suggest this method of not using your hand on there. And using that one probably to do with a bit of a change too. And using more of the pivot point here where it's fitted as the part where you want it to bend. By holding that, you're getting it to bend where you're holding it. It's bending from there. Because it's pretty easy to bend this stuff, it's no big deal. I think if you did it by hand at the start, you may end up a little disappointed, but that's really easy. Now, as I said, 
PVC, as long as it's a bit of pressure pipe or something, something pretty thick. Just have a little bit of a look at it. Give it a bit of a bend. Now the shape of these things, I've seen people make them themselves and they're just straight on the ends and they're made out of like 15 mil steel, Rio and that, you'd never get it off, seriously. Might as well use your reef, I mean your sand anchor and your plough anchor and get it stuck on there. That, I'm really happy with that. You can buy them already bent, but they charge you several dollars more and I don't think it's necessary, but it's no, not exactly tough. You're not trying to win a prize. That's pretty good. And it's a bit of a workout too. Attach that to fairly good length of chain. I'm just going to remove my old anchor from the boat. Put it on here. It's got a really good length of chain. It's a big heavy galvanized train. You want something pretty heavy to hold this end down. You don't want it lifting up. So um, don't just use rope. Use chain. Some people use only chain. Um, as long as you've got a reasonably good length. And then these will work in the sand a little bit if your boat's not too heavy. But it's best to carry the both. Put the other one back under up to the front of the boat or at the back wherever you've got room. And um, I think thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to message me. If you need any advice on which one for what boat? There are basic things you should think about. Um, obviously, if you've got a 21 foot fiberglass boat, this is not the anchor for you. If you've got a tinny, an aluminium boat, um, like I have, it's 4.1 meters long. It's a pretty heavy duty one, but um, this should be fine. I haven't used it yet. If it's not fine, I will put up a little report on that on my on this bottom of this video. If anyone wants to ask me about it, I can tell you I'm going fishing tomorrow, so I'll know by, know by tomorrow night whether it was a success. I'm going fishing off Scarborough. Scarborough Reef, North North Reef, they call it as well, uh, which is in Queensland, Australia. Um, beautiful spot. Rocks are just sticking out of the ground everywhere, out of the out of the ground, um, and so forth, out of the water, depending on the tide. So if I don't come back and I don't put any more videos out, you know I probably went down with the ship. Um, this is my first time there. I have a um, sounder in the boat, of course, but really it looks like a pretty hairy place to go. So it's more of an excursion, come a little bit of fishing trip. I'm going there trying to catch snapper. It's a great snapper spot. Season's closing a little bit now, as in it's past winter. That's the main time they catch them here. So we'll see how we go with that. But um, I purchased that purely because it's called a reef anchor, and that's where I'm fishing on a reef. Catch you next time, guys. Thank you. And um, tight lines.